The basic pot still design used by so many distillers across the globe would be fairly recognizable to distillers from centuries ago. Pot stills are used to make many of the world's great spirit styles, such as single malt scotch whiskey, cognac, many rums, and most mezcal. Pot stills form the basis of batch distillation. This means that a specified amount of liquid goes into the still and gets distilled into a spirit. Then the leftover dregs are dumped, the still gets cleaned out, and the whole process begins again. The function of the pot still starts inside the pot. The pot is the large tub-like base that the rest of the components of the still attach themselves to. This is where the liquid to be distilled starts its transformative journey. The pot may be heated through a variety of means. This includes a steam jacket lining the outside walls of the pot, or even a steam coil inside the pot itself. Traditionally, a direct flame from a burner is placed underneath the pot. This is common in cognac production, and some Scotch whiskey distillers stand by this method. As the liquid heats up, more volatile elements begin to vaporize and move up towards the neck of the still. From the neck, the vapors travel into the line arm, which is a horizontalish pipe that connects the neck to the condenser. When the hot vapors get to the condenser, they meet cool copper coils and tubes. The cooled vapors are condensed into a liquid form, creating a distillate which ranges from 25 to 35% ABV. In whiskey production, this is called low wines, but other spirit categories have different names for it. From there, the low wines are ready to be run through the still for another distillation. To learn more, head on over to distiller.com or download the app on your smartphone today.